So I was sitting in the back of my truck in September and I was getting ready to send a snap on Snapchat. Me telling this girl I liked her and me asking her out. I was going for the text, push sent, it's delivered. But before I tell you what happens, let me tell you the full story. So let's go back to my first day of school. I was going to my very first class of the day, which was history. The teacher's telling us what's gonna happen, what she expects of us, what the grades are gonna be like, all this stuff. And when we get done, this girl approaches me. And this is before I built my social skills up. So I was like super scared. I was like, oh shoot, what is this girl doing? I couldn't speak very well. So she goes like, hey, my name is, uh, let's just call her Sarah. And I say, oh yeah, it's nice to meet you. And I didn't even say my name, bro. And say, oh, no, hey, nice to meet you. I'm Christian. I did not say that. I just go, oh, nice to meet you. And I'm like, oh, L, bro, that, this is not good. This is not going well. So then she's like, kind of like laughs. She's like, well, what's your name? So I'm like, oh yeah, my name is Christian. The class gets over, it, the day goes on, and we're like going to all of our other classes. And it was, an, it was a really easy day. It was just basically the teachers telling us what's gonna happen and stuff. So the next day, we got our first assignment. So we get done, we get, everybody's done. We have some free time. So Sarah comes up to me. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go, bro. Cause I, I was already kind of like, mm, she's, she's not that bad. Like kind of like her in a way. So she comes up to me. Hey, Christian, can I get your Snapchat? I'm like, W bro, W. This is the best day of my life, bro. I was so pumped. So I give her my Snapchat. And then that evening I started a conversation and I'm gonna be honest, she seemed so into me, dude. Like it was, their signs were there. And so I was just like, oh man, this is great. So when I started the conversation, I'm like, W Riz, bro, you are the Rizzler, I'm, I'm him. I was like, all right, I'm so awesome. But the problem was I was very open and feminine talking to her through text. She still seemed into me. I was like, yeah, this is a W, bro. You just be a simp, bro. That's how you do it. That's what I was thinking. So we keep talking, keep talking. It's basically chill stuff until I remember this one Sunday, I was wearing my church clothes and I sent her a snap and she called me cute. And I was like, O-M-G, bro. I am him. So I'm like, oh, thanks. And I, I didn't even compliment her back. I should have, but I didn't because I didn't, I didn't understand social skills, bro. So we keep talking again, keep talking for a while. But here's the problem. I was sending like paragraph text messages. I was sending these long texts, like telling her how I feel about the world and philosophy and all this stuff because I am a self-improvement autist. And it, it just, it was not, it was not good. But she still acted like she liked it and like she acted like she was into me. So it was just like, all right, chill, this is great. So time goes on and I finally get the courage to just say something like I like her and I, I wanna ask her out and start a relationship and stuff. And I remember I was so scared, bro. And I was, I was asking these dudes from Hansa's Discord server, like how, how to, uh, how to ask her out. And like, they're probably like these chumps that just act like they're Sigmas or G's. I was asking them for the advice because I was so scared. They were telling me to ask her in person. I was like, all right, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I did it. I could not do it. So I take the L. I'm just like, man, I should have done it. Cause honestly, asking in person is way more effective. By the way, bro, if you need help with social skills, building confidence, learning about religion, I would consider subscribing to my channel because I'm documenting my journey, showing you my experiences from my past and trying to help you out. So if you haven't done that, please subscribe. So I was way too scared to tell her in person. And I just waited. I waited for, for a few days to go by. And I finally was just like, okay, Dude, this is this is enough. I'm just gonna ask her through Snapchat. I was such a pussy, bro. So I send this message. I'm like, my feelings for you are through the roof. Will you marry me? No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. But I sent a long paragraph, and I'm like, oh, shoot, oh shoot, bro. She she opened it, man. I'm like shaking with my phone in my hands, just waiting for the snap back. Bzz. Feel my phone buzz. It's Sarah. I opened the snap rejected. I was rejected, bro. I was like, what? She acts like she's in love with me, bro. But I was rejected. So what she said was just like, maybe in the future, I'm just not ready yet. And I'm like, okay, fair enough. But the thing is, is that if she truly wanted to, she would have been like, yes, absolutely. Let's go out sometime. 
but I still was speaking to her. I was still speaking to her through Snapchat, sending her long paragraphs. Uh, and I remember there was this football game. So I'm hanging out with her. She's acting like she's into me. And I'm like, okay, maybe maybe uh, she actually does like me. And I remember the game got over and I tried to catch up to her to tell her bye, but she just left. I was like, that's weird. The next day I was like, I was at an event and I was like, dang, she hasn't snapped me today. Like she usually would snap back to me within 20, 30 minutes. It had been like 12, 13 hours. And I was like, I was a mess. I was a nervous wreck, bro. So I double snapped her. Then she finally snapped back. She wasn't showing her face. I was like, what's going on? I was like, what is going on, bro? I didn't say anything, but then she didn't snap me again till like that evening. I was like, what's happening? Even though I should have stopped speaking to her after she rejected me. So I tried to start conversations. She was just, she was being super dry and it was just like, dude, what is going on? I was just like, you know what? I'll just still try to talk to her. Maybe she's just going through a stage. I kept speaking to her thinking like, oh yeah, I'm a G because I know what's happening because she's just testing me. The dry texting keeps happening for a few weeks. And then every once in a while, she'd be like, she'd like send us her smiling or something. And I'd be like, all right, all right, she's back. And then the next step should be like super dry. So the next football game comes around. I'm trying to hang out with her. She's just like obviously ignoring me, but I was just like, I was trying to block that out of my brain. I was just like, okay, dude, this is so weird. Maybe I should just move on. I was actually like thinking about moving on, and, but I never did until one day it was homecoming. It was a night before the homecoming game. Our school does like this big bonfire to hype people up for it. But one of my brother's friends, my brother said that he was talking to Sarah. My heart dropped. I was like, no way no way this is happening right now i thought she was in love with me and that's the day i finally moved on but it ended up being a good thing because i was really motivated and i started hitting the gym harder and started this youtube channel this is why you cannot be a simp bro this is why i can't be a simp anymore because it's just it doesn't work if you send these long paragraphs that's just so unattractive bro you just seem so needy so remember don't be a simp bro please don't be like me so thanks for watching bro hope my story can help you out a little bit and hope it was entertaining so always remember make your future self proud and i'll see you in the next one